Hi guys, this is Christina with Pildura. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy during these uncertain times. It's been kind of a while since I've made a video because I've kind of been all over the place. So right now I'm in New Mexico and I'm here visiting my brother, but yeah, we've all been quarantining all over the world and ended up in kind of random weird places. So um, I'm happy you guys are here with me today and I'm excited to get back in touch with you through YouTube. Today, I'm here to talk with you about something that's been on my mind for these past couple of weeks, and that is, what is sustainability gonna look like after quarantine and after the corona crisis? So here's the facts. In a matter of just two months, our world has completely changed. And in that, so have our ways of living, working, and overall just being. So we find ourselves today asking a shit ton of questions. Are we entering a recession? And if we are entering a recession, how is this affecting consumers' behaviors and attitudes towards sustainability and towards corporate responsibility? What does our world look like now compared to pre-COVID days? What have we learned from all of these experiences? And most importantly, how are we gonna prevent this from happening again? Corporate America's buzzword has been for the past couple of years, sustainability. So many are asking the question, is that luxury gone? Do we not have the luxury to continue to think about sustainability as a top priority? Have our priorities shifted? Are there more important things now that we need to think about? I think this is not what's gonna happen. And sustainability actually matters more now than ever. There's been physical evidence that has linked COVID deaths to pollution and to contamination. People who are living in more heavily polluted areas over time are more likely to die from a virus like the coronavirus or any other virus that we may approach in the future. These are facts from actual scientists and this was one study that was conducted by the director of the Center of Climate, Health and Global Environment at Harvard. So the Harvard study highlighted a link between emissions and public health and noted how both can stall economic growth. They note that the reduction in pollution should be noted not just for public health, but also as a major economic incentive. Two great reasons to lower our pollution. Another great reason for sustainability. Another great reason for sustainable fashion. So what does this all mean for our main question? What does sustainability look like after quarantine? Sustainability is more important now than ever. And it's so important that everybody realizes this. It's important for our health, for the health of the public, and it's important for our economy. We have now realized how quickly our planet can heal when we just pause for a moment, when we stop the intense use of fossil fuels, when we limit flights, when we limit car usage, and we were just a little bit more conscious about the way that we're operating as humans on this planet. We cannot go back to the way it was. We must rise from this crisis stronger, more intelligent, and more equipped to deal with this new world. The global response to COVID-19 really should be harnessed to create a more healthy society one that is better equipped to deal with emergency situations such as this. Pollution levels must be limited as much as possible in order to avoid a crisis from a second wave of coronavirus. And a lot of cities and government organizations are really taking this to heart. One great example is Milan. So Milan has hatched a plan where they are building hundreds and hundreds of miles of new road to allow people to get to work on bike. And so they're trying to really limit the use of fossil fuels via cars. Paris had moved up their date to launch initiatives as well to create more bike paths. So a lot of cities are taking this to heart, but what's really important is that us as individuals also take this to heart because we have purchasing power to support companies that also align with these values. So my message here is that governments can do what they want, but at the end of the day, you matter. So the most important lesson of all of this for me and of the corona crisis and quarantine and everything really might be that, and that together we can get through anything and that we're united even in solidarity. As a species, we're on the verge of a golden opportunity. We can change the world for the better. We need to put our heads together collectively and devise a society that works in a different way. So hopefully that answers some of the questions you've been having. That's been my thought process of what's been going on with sustainability and what I believe will be sustainability after this crisis from the negative to the positive. But like I said, the most important thing is you. So let's do this together. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Pildora video with me. I hope you are staying safe. I hope you are staying positive. 
and um, feel free to reach out and don't forget to subscribe to the Pildor channel and don't forget to check out PildorLive.com. We are also featuring live content daily on PildorLive.com now. Thank you so much and I will see you soon.